I found this at the flea market I like to wander through Wednesday mornings before work. I thought the Native American chief was interesting. Mohawk Trail, Massachusetts. These things are called bullet pencils. Bullet pencils started out as wartime souvenirs. Spent brass 303 caliber rifle cases were picked up from battlefields in the Sudan and other parts of Africa in the late 1800s and sent back to Great Britain. The cartridges were used to make souvenir mechanical pencils. This one was made to commemorate the Battle of Omdurman in Sudan in 1898. In 1914, during World War I, Princess Mary had Christmas comfort packages sent to the troops. The packages consisted of a tin box that contained pipe tobacco, cigarettes, a Christmas card, a photo of the princess, and a pencil made from a 303 cartridge. The Princess Mary bullet pencil was a simpler design. Soldiers found it very easy to carry in their pocket. This simple bullet pencil design found its way to the United States where the genuine brass shell case was replaced with brass or aluminum tubing capped with an eraser and mass produced as promotional giveaway items. By the 1950s, the metal tubes were being replaced with plastic. The pencil in my bullet pencil looked original and showed no signs of ever being sharpened. The cap had some corrosion. This one had an aluminum tube, and the artwork looked like it was in good shape. There was some corrosion around the eraser, and the eraser was petrified. It was hard as a rock. I supported the cap with a section of yellow pencil and went after it with a scrubby wheel in my Dremel. The little scrubby wheels did a nice job on the cap. I tried some sandpaper on the eraser end. Here's the eraser end after sanding. The eraser was still rock hard. The internet suggested I soak the eraser in very hot water. I let the eraser soak for 10 minutes. It felt a little better. I went over the aluminum with steel wool and a scrubby wheel. Chuck and I went over all of the metal with flits. Okay, here's what the bullet pencil looked like when I brought it home from the flea market. And here it is now. It's a little shinier.
The eraser looks better, but it is still too hard to use. The Mohawk Trail goes way back to just after the Ice Age, when it was a footpath between river valleys. Later, it was a trade route for the native Mohawk and Pocomtuck tribes. Europeans brought the horse and wheel, and the Mohawk Trail was widened to become a well-traveled route between English settlements in Deerfield and Dutch settlements in New York. Today, the trail is part of Route 2 in western Massachusetts and is a popular scenic drive. Maybe Mrs. Magdad and I will take a trip up to Massachusetts and check it out. Bullet pencils are fun to collect. I enjoy hunting for them at the flea market. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. So now I've got four of these things. This one here might be my oldest one. It says A. Cohen Jeweler, Allentown, PA. I like this. Walk down the hill and save a bill. It's got a brass barrel. It's got a four digit phone number. It says established 1906. And I guess this was the giveaway to celebrate their 20th anniversary. I had Chuck help me with the math. We figure that means this thing's probably from 1926. I think this one here is a bit newer. This is made out of aluminum, like the Mohawk Trail one. This is Clifton Heel washer parts, parts and repairs for all makes. Again, Allentown. Now this has got the seven digit phone number. One minute washers and Jerry power mowers. They would date from the 50s. I think that phone number, the seven digit phone number, puts it in the 50s too. And this one's probably the newest one. This has a plastic barrel, not a metal barrel. It says Purina Chow's Statewide Feed Company. Right? Brown Road. Got a phone number. What I thought was strange, I don't see anything on here that indicates which state it's from.